In this video, we are unlocking the power of IT automation by guiding you through installing Ansible on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS Noble Numbat. By the end of this video, you will know how to set up Ansible, configure it for your needs, and begin automating your system like a pro. Get ready to transform your approach to a team management with this powerful tool. Let's get started and turn you into an automation expert. First of all, we need a running Ubuntu machine with 2404 LTS running. In this case, I'm using Ubuntu desktop, but the procedure it will be the same using a server edition. Uh, on the dashboard, you just need to reach out the terminal and uh, from here just need to uh, become uh, the privilege account using sudo su and we are ready to execute our command. Just double check this is Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. Now let's focus on the terminal. Welcome on mine. Let me connect via SSH to my machine using DevOps as username at ubuntuexample.com. This is my hostname. As you can see, this is the first time and it asks for confirmation of SSH fingerprint. After typing the password, we can verify that we are running on Ubuntu 24.04, Noble Numbat, and that Ansible command is not installed on the system. Well, the system must suggest how to install using the Ansible core package. However, let's perform a little bit of analysis before moving to the next section. First of all, is always a good habit to do apt update to get the latest version of the index uh, of our repository in our system. As you can see, um, this went pretty fast and pretty well. Okay, cool. Now we can search for the package that we want. I'm gonna use apt cache search because is more unform familiar with this tool, but will be the same result using apt search. As you can see, there are two versions providing Ansible, the community package with all the comprehensive uh, pack collection around and the um, Ansible core that is only the, Ans the Ansible engine underneath. One depended to another, so as you can see, the Ansible core 2.16.3 will be installed and the Ansible community 9.2 version um, will be available. Now let's deep dive and actually installing Ansible. Using apt install Ansible all the dependency will be satisfied. There will be some download from the internet of one uh, more or less 300 megabytes and there are a lot of dependencies especially on Python 3 for library like WinRM to connect to Windows source or NTLM for Windows authentication. There is also very important the C Linux library to connect to Linux and interact directly with C Linux permission on our system. Now we can verify that Ansible successfully installed in our system using Ansible dash dash version. As you can see, this is the output that provides not only the version of the Ansible core that we are running, and 2.16.3 but also the version of Python 3.12.3 and the version of Jinja template. We can verify using apt list Ansible core and Ansible and that report that the package is successfully installed and the update are actually automatic. So every time we update our system Ansible will be upgraded as well. Cool. Uh, the command will be this simple uh, apt upgrade Ansible. Now I'm not gonna perform all the upgrade in my system because uh, there are other packages that actually doesn't depend directly by Ansible but you got the concept. You don't need uh, an extra procedure to up maintain up-to-date Ansible in our system. Cool. We started from a fresh installed machine and now Ansible successfully installed in our host and all the dependencies are satisfied. So now it's time to make our baby step in with automation. First of all, it's important to create the initial configuration under the slash etc slash Ansible. 
Ubuntu doesn't provide the default configuration, so if we try to browse the ATC Ansible directory, it's actually empty. So let's create uh, this first configuration by ourselves. Let's create a directory and also let's initialize the Ansible configuration. We can get the initial configuration using the Ansible config command and uh, in it uh, dash dash disabled and let's type this on ansible.cfg file in this way this file is gonna contain all the possible parameters for ansible and uh, most of them are actually disabled or commented so please take a look on all these parameters there is a big uh, explanation for all of them online and you can actually uh, change the default behavior of ansible based on your need the second file that you're gonna need is actually the inventory file. Uh, it is called hosts. It is actually the list of the hosts where we would like to tackle our automation. The most easy one, localhost. And let's specify also ansible underscore connection equal local. In this way, it's not gonna use SSH for authentication, just using the local connection. You can verify that everything works the Ansible configuration, the Ansible host, using the command Ansible all. All is the list of all the mm, uh, hosts in our inventory. And let's use the module ping to verify the first Hello World um, application. Thank you for joining me on the first step of how to configure Ansible on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. Now the sky is the limit, so you can set up your own SSH, updating your server, or installing and testing an Ansible playbook. I can't wait to hear your success story.